All right. Shut. Shut up or get out. It's quiet on set. All right, little Honda bros. We're going to lay it on thick here for you. We're going to take this nice blue modern hood and we're going super 90s on you. So carbon fiber and I'm not freaking painting it. I don't care what comments you guys say. It's staying carbon fiber because that's what I wanted. And guess what? It's my car. I'm going to do whatever I want. So screw you ahead of time to even start this video, Honda Bros. This is getting a spoon carbon fiber hood. I paid a zillion dollars for it. I got it here in three days from California from Art of Attack and we're putting it on. The only problem is it's freaking swirled out crazy, so I might be eating my words and having to paint it anyway. But let's put the thing on, and uh, this theoretically should take three minutes to do. But my guess is it'll end up taking me three hours somehow. So let's get uh, let's get started. So step one, pop the hood. Because anybody doing this modification is going to have some severe... No, okay, I'm not going to say that. I was going to say <laughs> a severe learning disability. But that'll get me in trouble. <laughs> Don't let it out. <laughs> Step one, pull the little tubes off. Oh, oh, shoot. <laughs> pull this off. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, it does. OK. Step one, or step two, done. Step three. Well, 10 mils, 10 mil for you. Ooh. I'll do a little quarter inch, 10 mil for me. Put your hand here. Hand here. Yep. I've done a few douche hoods before in my past. This isn't my first rodeo at a douche hood in it. Douche trunk, douche hood. Are you a douche hood aficionado? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I think this is freaking cool. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this, but I don't care what you think, Bryce. Okay, I'm not going to judge you. You're going to be like, wow, that looks great. Carbon's cool. Like, I can't believe you care about shaving weight after adding that 10,000 pound stereo. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm off. That's what the hood's for, man. Let's save some weight. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, it's like, it's like. Paint, paint welded. Yeah. What's what's still holding on here? Though? Latch. Hold on. There we go. All right, so we're gonna weigh this puppy. We want to keep this nice for that way when the next guy. Then throw that green towel under there. Just see how much amazing weight savings. Yeah, get it to zero. Get it perfect. Oh, it blew up. Oh no, it's good. Thirty-one. To say thirty-two. I don't say, I need it to be exact. Let me hold the little tips here. 32, two. 32, three. 32, two. It's dynamic. Yeah, 32 pounds, two ounces is what we're calling it. Okay, well, let's just ride it like this. We just lose 32 pounds. We don't even have to put a douche hood on it. All right, I need some help. All right. Just be able to pick this thing up. Again. Deadlift! All right. Back out, okay? Actually, this is pretty, this is a lot heavier than I thought it was. Where did scale go? What are you doing? Oh, you not put back up. Oh, we got to take the little thingy off there too. Zero it out. Oh my gosh, 18 pounds. 17. 18. 18 two. So what is that? 24 pounds? Or 14 pounds? Yeah, yeah, 14. 14. <laughs> like wait. I got in trouble for the last one with my math skills. I do have a degree in advanced mathematics. Here, help me out. Take that thingy off there. Take that thingy off? Yeah. They left a little pink on there. Oh my Come God. on. Okay. So now, let's try to get this on. Here. We just saved it. Here. That's light, Bryce. That is light. How long do you think this is going to last for me? Oh, shoot. I need my screws. Kyle, screw mm. me. Yeah, I mean, Aren't they in your pocket? Screws. Aren't they in your pocket? <laughs> I thought you were gonna have them reach in your pocket. No, it's not. I'm waiting for the latch not to line up at all. <laughs> Bryce, be positive. Don't go too tight either. Right. Okay. 
Ready? Yep. Set her down gently. Let's make sure we're not. Yeah, I was waiting for this to like hit and crack. We're gonna have to move it over to the right a little bit. Oh yeah, we need, definitely need some EDM playing right now, bros. Oh, it latches. Don't get it stuck, Kyle. That looks pretty good. Zip it. So how thick is the clear coat on this? I don't know, we're about to find out. Let's see. Yeah, we gotta, yeah, we need to come. It needs to come a little to the right. Shoot, it looks kind of small, doesn't it? That Fitting. is maximum, maximum 90s. It's actually, I mean, it looks gappy over here on the right, but it looks gappy on the left too. It just needs to come over it's a little bit. Raised up right here a little bit. Before we go anywhere, I should see if this thing's even gonna polish out. Hmm, yeah, I mean, PPF might hide, clean up the Janky edge here. Hmm, that's a two grand buys you, bros. All right, let's uh, let's try to shift it to the right a tiny bit. Then I'll get the polisher out. Let's see what happens. See how light that popped up? It almost shot up through the ceiling. It says spoon on it. Must oh. be. Oh my word. Kind of... Bring her on down. Yeah, we did worse. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's I mean, there's a little bit more of a gap here, but let's try one more time, shifting it over a little bit. I think I'm gonna end up blowing right through the clear of this thing in one pass. Yeah, I don't know that it really gives us much play. Yeah. No, I think it's a little better. All right, let's see what happens when I polish this thing. Give me some eraser. Watch the eraser melt right through it. No. <laughs> it's pretty much garbage. $2,000 garbage right there. But it saved us 14 pounds. It's a lot of trial and error in this life. Yeah, but just imagine all the faces of all the Honda Bros. You drive by with this. Yeah, that's what it's about, Bryce. The fit isn't that bad. I mean, it's probably not all that different than stock. The thing I don't like the most, the edge. Well, wow, there's some sanding marks and stuff on it, so it's it's been it's it. been molested, just not properly molested. Those optional. Ah, oh, crap! I need to go get some microfiber. Let's try wool on this thing. Just car and wool. Let's do some of this uh, H9. People will be really excited to see something different because the stuff we have isn't good. You always gotta have new. I think with PPF on it, it'll make it look like if I if I get it somewhat corrected out and then we PPF it. I think this might actually look pretty decent. Let's see what we got. No, I want to go get a microfiber pad and Jeskar and stick with. Oh yeah, it's cleaning it up. Well, yeah, well. There's like some small, like there's like nibs. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go get a, uh, a microfiber cutting pad. Yeah, it's gonna come in nice. That's some of the leftover from some of these gnarly so I think if I make a couple of sets of passes and chase it, I think this is actually gonna look pretty, pretty decent. 
it's clear so thin you can see the weed. Wait. Let's get in there. This is gonna take some take some work. So I might want to turn the camera off and come back at the end. I'll let you know what I did, because this is gonna be a while. I kinda like that. I like this polish. No dusting. Looks a lot better, but still, there's some deep, deep stuff on this thing. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to look acceptable to PPF it. Question is whether a carbon fiber hood is acceptable. All right. It's, uh, it looks great. It looks great on camera. I guarantee you this looks shiny as crap. So I did, uh, two sets of passes with M101, another set with, um, with, uh, Jeskar Correction Compound, another set of passes with Perfect Finish. And so there's still some deeper scratches that are just not coming out. Like there's a big, big giant scratch right here. But I think that I think that PPF will cover that up. So this will be the first time in my life I'm doing PPF to improve the finish. But the fit is good. Yeah, I, I mean, just look. I mean, it looks, it looks cool. I know that you know, the, the, the 75% of people are going to hate this, but I, I'm going to leave it because I, I want it. <laughs> I think it's freaking cool. So, you know, it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's 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 uh, it's ready for hot import nights. That's that's about it. Um, you know, certain angles. I mean, I think this outside with the with the uh, diamond dark gunmetal wheels and the spoon brakes. Once I get the alignment and everything set up, and yeah, I, and and I did. I think I found the carbon fiber mirrors. I think that's going to be pretty cool. So the great part about this giveaway thing and me building this, so I want this hood. It, the hood is not as good as I would like it to be. You know, it's the fit and finish of it is not quite what I would want it. I, of course, I could paint it, but the fit and finish, if I'm going to paint it, I'm just going to put the 12, 14 pound regular hood back on the thing. So I think, um, I don't know, I'll have, to, I'll have to get back to you on that. I think it's going to stay on, but I'm not 100% sure. If it was like spot on, like GT3 quality carbon fiber, it would be, I'd be like, I'd be ecstatic. But it's, you know, the, 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 you know, there's some scratches in it. There's like, there's like a little divot right there. So it's not, it's not perfect. It's good, but it's not greatness. So then I was talking about, well, maybe I'll just paint the front clip. That's, I don't want to do that. That's too much. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's the uh, spoon carbon fiber hood. We're going to keep, keep messing around with this thing. And I'll keep you posted on what, uh, I guess there's a matching dimple right there. So there's like two little, so maybe they're supposed to be there. I don't freaking know. Yeah, they're in the uh, same spot. Anyway, that's what I got for you. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even imagine what your comments are going to be on this. It's going to be sick. <laughs> but the JDM headlights, the, the carbon fiber hood, I don't know. You get out of here. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya. <laughs> oh, boy.